This problem is asking us to find the value of the square root of 121 over 64. At first glance, this problem can look tricky, but if we remember that the square root with a fraction inside it is just the same as writing the square root separately, we might be able to make it a little bit simpler for ourselves. So the square root of the fraction is the same as the square root of the numerator over the square root of the denominator. Well, this right here makes it a lot easier for us to solve. So I'm going to move this over here so we have some room to work. Now we need to find two identical numbers that multiply together to give us 121. That's what a square root tells us to do. Well, we know that 11 times 11 is 121. So the square root of 121 is 11. Now, we also know that negative 11 times negative 11 is also positive 121. So we can have the choice of either a positive or a negative number there. The same goes for the root of 64. We could have, let's see, 8 times 8 is 64, or negative 8 times negative 8 is 64. So we can also have a positive or a negative 8. So our answer comes out to be either a positive or a negative 11 eighths. Now you can put this in in your answer key as 11 eighths or negative 11 eighths, or you might even want to divide the numbers to get 1.3. 375, or you could even round it. The answer key will take either one. Now, most likely on a multiple choice test, they're not going to have the negative answers, so you would just choose 11 eighths as your final answer. Now, just to recap, the important point that we did here was we took this fraction, the square root of 121 64 and we split it up. So we just took the square root of 121 and just the square root of 64 and solved them separately. Solving them separately made it a lot easier. So then we got our fraction and we just needed to remember that anytime you use a square root, your answer can either be positive or it can be negative. All right, so that's how we do it. Try another one on your own.